Thanksgiving is almost here, and the thought this year, as with any year, is turkey gravy. But be honest, beef gravy is so much more mouthwatering. It has this nice, unctuous, meaty flavor that turkey just does not possess. Let me show you how to make it. Now to construct our liquidy beefy goodness, get a two quart saucepan and light it up over medium heat. Add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Next add a quarter cup of flour. And let's get down to the heart of the matter. Let's add one tablespoon of beef base. Uh, one thing I should point out about beef base, it's incredibly salty. So when we add our spices, don't be surprised if I'm not including any salt. Well, okay, once it clubs together like this, add two and a half cups of water. Stir until it's mostly dissolved. Now let's add our spices. One teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Two teaspoons of onion powder. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. And one to two teaspoons of kitchen bouquet. It's not really gonna add any flavor, it's just a browning sauce. Bring it to a boil. Okay, once our sauce begins to thicken up, we'll lower the heat down to medium low, or low. Actually, low is better. And finally, let's add a third of a cup of heavy cream. Give everything a nice taste test. Just a tiny pinch of salt. Remember, there was a lot of salt in that beef base. A little bit more pepper. And maybe just a touch more garlic powder. All I have to say now is... And that's how you make beef gravy. So this Thanksgiving... Oh, it's the sound of pants splitting from eating too much. You know what that means? Actually, you don't. I just started it. It's time for a bonus recipe. Today's bonus recipe is... Mashed Potatoes. Get a cast iron skillet and fill it up with a nice hearty serving of mashed potatoes. And top it off with a generous handful of shredded mozzarella. Turn your oven's broiler to high and stick it in there long enough for the cheese to melt. And finally, Top it off with a nice, generous serving of our gravy. You know, this is my first time trying it, so let me see how it tastes. Mm. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna end the video right now, otherwise it's gonna get demonetized. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh man, butter sure melts fast when you're doing your little sign-off thing.